Five O'Clockers, my name's Bryony and welcome to another episode of BIOS Update, our regular series that brings together all the latest gaming and tech news. We're trying to get to 50,000 subs, so if you're enjoying the series, I'd really appreciate it if you could subscribe. And now, let's get into this week's stories all about memory pricing and shortages, a huge legal campaign for gamers, how to get Star Wars Outlaws free, our upcoming event, and much more. So, let's get into it. <music> Kicking things off with the gaming chapter, and I know that you guys love free games. And if you're planning on upgrading your PC anytime soon, then definitely check out a new deal from Intel. They're giving away a free copy of Star Wars Outlaws with the purchase of qualifying Intel Core 14th Gen products. This includes everything from the Intel Core i5-14600KF all the way up to the brand new Intel Core i9-4900KS. PCs and laptops powered by Intel are also included and there's a wide range of powerful systems created by overclockers or high-end laptops from brands such as Acer, Asus, Gigabyte, MSI and Razer. All of them ideal for exploring the beautiful open world Star Wars universe recreated by Ubisoft. As the name suggests, you play as an outlaw seeking freedom and the means to start a new life. Fight, steal and outwit your way through the galaxy's crime syndicates as you join the galaxy's most wanted. This offer ends on the 31st of July, so you've got some time to consider your upgrade and pick out your components ready to dive into the Star Wars universe when the game eventually launches on the 30th of August. Stop killing games. Yes. Gamers have finally had enough, and YouTuber Ross Scott Hi, I'm Ross. has started a worldwide campaign to challenge publishers who make online games unplayable after official support ends. In last year's news, we covered a study that revealed that 87% of games released before 2010 are completely unavailable. The well-thought-out campaign advocates for consumer rights, urging governments and authorities to examine and potentially end this practice. There's a really excellent YouTube video that I highly recommend watching. It covers the campaign in a lot of detail and answers a lot of questions, but essentially the petitions center around Ubisoft's decision to shut down the service for The Crew affecting a player base of at least 12 million people. The argument is that games are goods and not services, and therefore should remain operable after purchase, so that when developers eventually decide to stop supporting a game, they must provide a way for owners to continue playing, such as on their own private servers. I don't think that this sounds unreasonable and it makes sense to try and preserve all forms of media. That could be films, music or video games. If you too want developers to stop killing games, you can help by signing the relevant petitions and contacting the regulators in your country, spreading the word on social media and supporting content creators promoting their campaign. Plus, staying informed about the process. As with anything legal, this is likely to be a long drawn out process and Ross Scott might need further support and signatures along the way. We're going to need a collective effort to preserve gamers rights and the games that we love. I'm gonna drop a link to more info below and I highly recommend checking it out so you can support this awesome campaign. Moving on to the hardware chapter, where here at Overclockers, we obviously buy a lot of memory. That might be DRAM for your DDR5 memory sticks or Flash NAN for your SSDs. Now, after the devastating earthquake in Taiwan, we can confirm memory makers wary of the quake's impact have actually stopped announcing prices for DRAM. The industry still doesn't know the extent of the damage as investigations are currently underway, but it's possible the earthquake may have disrupted wafer fab operations at Micron, Samsung Electronics and SK Hynix, resulting in potential shortages and price hikes. After the past three years, it's easy to begin 
freaking out as soon as you hear the word shortage. However, there's no need to start panic buying hordes of memory. At most, there may be an increase of around 10 to 20%, but also potentially nothing if none of the machinery was adversely affected or damaged. At the moment, there seems to be plenty of supply, and one of our top suppliers in Taiwan has told us the factories were not actually in the earthquake zone, and as such, they believe there will be little to no change in prices. However, some might see it as a nice excuse to increase prices anyway, particularly as vendors might see a chance to compensate for the losses incurred in 2022 and 23. History has shown us that natural disasters can disrupt that delicate balance of supply and demand in the tech industry. The 2011 Thailand floods caused a significant spike in hard drive prices due to the factory shutdowns. Similarly, the 2016 earthquakes in Japan led to a temporary surge in semiconductor prices. Only time will tell, but don't suddenly feel the urge to go out and buy memory that you don't want or need. Our next hardware story this week is a rumor about Intel's upcoming Battle Mage GPUs. Officially, Intel has remained tight-lipped about its next generation desktop graphics cards, merely saying that the team is working on software and that the hardware side of things is on schedule. It seems rather than overhyping things, they are trying to stay quiet about the potential performance of their new architecture and what that might mean for gamers. This includes potential release dates until recently. Media outlet Computerbase claims it heard whispers of a launch date at the recent embedded World Trade Fair in Germany. Unsurprisingly, it seems Intel is hoping to take advantage of the Q4 boom in spending that happens around Black Friday, meaning a product launch is likely to take place before November 2024 at the latest. That's over two years since Intel Arc 1 was released in early October 2022. Details about the performance of Battle Mage are scarce, but rumors suggest it to be twice as fast as the Arc Alchemist line. This means that Battle Mage would be roughly equal to Nvidia's RTX 4070 Super, but likely come at a much more competitive price. Let's hope that Intel can meet those performance targets and deliver gamers an affordable yet powerful desktop gaming GPU that competes with the big boys. Our third and final chapter is the blog update, and it's official, we're getting old. Well, not me, not yet, but Overclockers UK turns 25 this year. Once a little PC shop, Overclockers UK was founded in 1999 by Mark Proudfoot, who wanted to sell overclock CPUs with guaranteed performance and stability. Now, 25 years later, Overclockers is one of the leading online retailers of PC systems and components, selling a wide range of high performance hardware and PCs from our massive warehouse in Stoke-on-Trent. There's a lot to celebrate, and we're kicking things off with a fun website update. After all, we all love a good throwback. So, how about the retro stylings of the original OCUK website? All you have to do to activate this late 90s aesthetic is toggle the secret button found on the top of our homepage. Browse in glorious black and red and enjoy the retro graphics of our original logo. Later this year, we're going to be opening our doors and massive car park for a 25th anniversary party. If you love computers and cars, you won't want to miss out on this action-packed day happening on the 25th of May. There are over 100 awesome motors booked on display, from supercars and hot hatches to trucks and classics. Upstairs, we'll be showcasing all of the latest PC hardware and racing simulators with exclusive competitions for attendees. Deals and discounts will be available alongside various food and drink stalls and more. If you want to come along, make sure to register your interest today and I'll see you there. 
If you're a Fallout fan, there is no way you missed the recent launch of the Fallout TV show earlier this week. The binge-worthy series was created in close collaboration with Bethesda and it's packed full of references and fun elements of the game that will have fans wanting to watch the eight episode season on repeat. To celebrate, we put together a blog post highlighting all the awesome Fallout themed PC setup collectibles that are a must have for fans of both the game and series. Noble chairs actually have three themed gaming chairs officially licensed by Bethesda and the designs are awesome. Cheese from the Nuka Cola Epic, Vault Tech Hero or Glow in the Dark Quantum Cola Edition. Each one is designed with great ergonomics and is easily adjustable so you'll be in ultimate comfort no matter how long you spend in your vault. If you're happy with your current chair, check out the Noble Chair's Fallout pillow sets. The memory foam adds extra support and comfort, and the huge range of eye-catching themed designs are ideal for subtly updating your setup. My personal favorite is the purple Quantum Nuka Cola cushions. Our fine out Fallout themed setup upgrade comes from the quacking team at Ducky, who teamed up with Bethesda for a super stylish new keyboard. It just landed in the UK and we actually did an unboxing video on YouTube, so make sure to check it out if you're interested. I love the blue and yellow aesthetic and as with other Ducky keyboards, it has a bunch of great features and a satisfying typing experience. Not to mention, you can also get it with a free gift on the Overclockers website, and I'll make sure to drop a link to this particular blog post in the description below. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Overclockers BIOS Update. Remember to go and check out that really awesome campaign to stop killing games and give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave us a comment letting me know if you enjoyed the Fallout TV series and I'll catch you again in the next one.